Hello YouTube, this is the simplest uh, oscillating circuit that anybody has ever built that, uh, that I know of. So uh, what, what we have here is um, a single coil. Oh man, it died, let's see. Hello YouTube, I made uh, the simplest oscillating circuit that anybody has ever made, I believe. It's consisted out of a single core uh, coil and uh, we have 5.9400 million power supply and we have a giant galvanized bolt in the middle of the of the coil and what we have here is we have an alligator clip and the end of the coil there's a copper wire right there and the um, the alligator clip is making and breaking that con connection with the um, w w with the um, copper wire okay we, we have a it died let's see let's see if we can re make it re oscillate but get it started again Okay, there we go. Now I found it uh, much more difficult to get the circuit to self-oscillate like that without uh, the horseshoe magnets. Uh, so I have this uh, positive going into the coil and then uh, this side goes into the um, load and the uh, end of the load is right here, connected to the negative of the coil. So let's see. See, as you can see, I can manually bring the lead to the um, coil, but the the connection quickly stops oscillating. Like so. So I found the whole, uh, having horseshoe magnets over the circuit helped. It's, it's difficult to keep it to keep uh, the circuit running. Another thing uh, is that I found that the leads uh, become magnetic when you're breaking the circuit. See, see, all of a sudden they stick together. See. So these kind of effects, for me, validate the uh, at least common theory that electricity and magnetism are really the same force. See, all of a sudden, can you see how it's sticking? Okay, now let's disconnect the power, see if it's still going to be sticking with the power being disconnected. Let's see. See nothing. It's a U-shaped iron core, but it, it, it actually works with anything, with any kind of um, iron. So I used this nail before, and it works it works as well. And it's a it's a galvanic uh, galvanized uh, nail. It's very large. Anyway, so and then we have a, a connection right here. And so what happens is the magnetism is induced in the coil. Uh, and um, so you end up uh, with uh, the core being magnetized and then the lead is made out of a magnetic material so it ends up attracting the lead and when it attracts the leads um, connection is being uh, broken with the copper there so all of a sudden it, it, it turns off magnetism and so it basically uh, pulses the coil fast enough for it to um, make and break the connection between that little copper piece and that uh, metal lead Anyways, we're going to continue investigating.